everyone, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today I'm going to show you a product from KZ. Now this is the Escape. It is the E18 Hatch. That's the name of this model because guess what? It has a hatch on the back. Now if you are one of those folks who like to take your living room with you and have all those creature comforts, this may not be your trailer. However, if you want to get out there, have some great adventures, maybe carry some extra gear with you, and you want a few conveniences while you're out there, this is the ticket. It has lots of great options on it. Not really fluffy on the inside, but it's got everything you need if you're big into the adventure outdoors. Now this trailer is 22 feet long. It weighs just under 3,500 pounds. It can sleep four people and it can carry kayaks, bikes, whatever you need. Now remember, features and options, they can always change. So if you're looking at this trailer at a dealer near you, be sure to ask about any details that are important to you. Now let's get started on the 2023 E18 hatch. Now I mentioned that this was a trailer for adventure, but at the end of the day, it's always great to have a place to relax. So I'm gonna start right up here with the all shaped sofa. It's really comfortable, feels really spacious, has cup holders in the corner, and yeah, plenty of room for two, three people to sit here and put their feet up. Speaking of putting your feet up, it has what they call an ottoman. Now the way that works is you pull this straight out, and it's just rolling on the floor, so you can put it wherever you'd like, uh, and great to put your feet up on. If you want to make the bed, the cushions lay down on top of it, and you have got a four by six bed right here. Really comfortable. And let's put this right back in. Just slides back in. And let's look right behind here. All the way around behind the back cushions on this sofa is storage. It may be quite difficult to see, let me get this out of the way, how much space there is back there. But the floor of this is eight inches deep and then you've got all this space for things that maybe you need to uh, grab when you're relaxing. You do have the shelf on top, that's always nice, but I think it's really handy to have a little more storage back there. Let's put these back up. It just looks really comfortable. I love the neutral colors in here. There are no color choices in this trailer, but you do get really soft vinyl material that's gonna clean easily and a little bit darker, but very neutral. The ash colored cabinets just give it a nice contrast. Up above, let's take a look at that storage as well. Now it may be hard to see, but this is a little bit of a shiny front on here. So you've got kind of a laminate feel. And in here, this runs all the way down to the end. This is two feet deep on the floor. Now you do have the curve on the top, so you don't get the full height all the way to the back, but that's pretty nice. This might be a place where I would put games or maybe some things like that, that I might use in this area. There is a folding table that can stand up right here if you needed a table in this area, maybe for eating breakfast, playing cards, whatever you'd like to do here. But it's a freestanding table, so it could go outside as well. All right, let's take a look at the plugs. So you've got uh, two USBs right here underneath this, and you've got the little blue light on the edges. On the other side, the 110 plug. And right up here is uh, the plug-in and the connections for a television. As we go through, I'm gonna try to point out which things are options. So you'll know to look for them if you're looking at this trailer. So that would be an option, the 24 inch television, and it does come with a bracket to hang inside or outside. Now, moving forward, they have a great speaker mounted here. Now this is gonna charge the speaker and it can go outside or inside. So you are not connected to the trailer. This can go on your adventures. I think that's a great feature. 20,000 BTU furnace. 
If you're camping in cold weather, you're going to want to be toasty at night. Another USB plug right here. And down below, this is pre-wired for TireLink. Now what that is, it's a TPMS system that will tell you about the uh, air in your tires on the trailer. The entire system does not come with the trailer, but it is pre-wired. So if you purchase it, it's very easy to snap into place. Right below that, of course, that is your LP detector and your carbon monoxide detector to keep you safe. There are two vents in this trailer. One is going to be in the bathroom. The other one is directly above me here. Now, on the left side, I want to point out the controls on the other side as you come in the door. When you come in, at the end of the cabinet, you will see a plug at the top and it will have a sticker on it that says pre-wired for Wi-Fi. Now this is pre-wired if you wanted to again purchase the features that will make Wi-Fi in your trailer. So that is pre-wired, ready to go. Uh, speak with anybody at the dealership, they can tell you more about that. Down below, this is going to control the bed, which lifts out of your way for your gear and then drops back down when you're ready to sleep. You can extend or retract the awning right there. Very simple, 14 foot awning. And next to this is going to be the porch light and the main lights in the cabin here. Up above, this is the inverter. This trailer has the off-grid off-road package. I'll tell you more about that later but that includes a thousand watt inverter and a hundred watt solar panel on the roof. So this is going to turn on the inverter so that this plug right here is going to work when you're not plugged in at the campsite. Next to that is another 110 plug that will need to be plugged in at the campsite, but they're both right next to each other. All right, let's move on, take a look at the bathroom and then we'll head to the kitchen. So, is it crazy to talk about the cabinet color and the door color? I love the contrast. I love that it's simple, but it's a nice wood grain. I don't know. It's kind of a basic contemporary style. Stepping in, really quite a bit of space here. I know a lot of folks are really uh, conscious about how much space is on the side of the toilet. And this one gives you plenty of room all the way around here. Now, stepping into the shower, you do step up just a little bit. Right here, you are six foot six to the ceiling. When you step in, you are just a hair over six foot. So you do lose some inches there. Shower curtain pulls across. You do have a one piece wrap on the back. And like I mentioned before, a vent in the ceiling. There is a little bit of space above the door and below the door which is really nice for some venting if you've got these vents open and you want the air to, to dissipate. All right, now we're gonna cross over it, take a look at the kitchen, because this kitchen, although it, it feels very simple, pretty plain, it's got everything you need. So up at the top, let's start with the storage. Open this up, that nice laminated front cabinet, and you'll see in here, there is the charge controller for the solar panel. Now every solar panel is going to have to be controlled with a panel on the inside. That's at the very back of the cabinet. It's great to take a look occasionally if you want to see how charged your battery is or how much uh, battery power you might be using. Now for the fun part, this countertop, wow, I guess I did kind of mention that it's a little bit of a plain interior, but this really sets it off. And I love that it would hide any type of dirt or spills on the countertop. The stainless steel round sink, it's an eight inch deep sink, plenty of space here, a nice high faucet, very contemporary feel. Let's take a peek at the storage under here. It is open all the way across under this sink. You do have to work around the pipes just a little bit, but really not much. Plenty of storage under there. And remember I mentioned the controls for the furnace. Down below there is that forced air furnace, the 20,000 BTU furnace. A little more storage here. Now this is what they call smart storage. So these trays pull out. And the thing I like about these is that they are a molded plastic so that if they get dirty, you just rinse them out. They're good as new, slide them right back in. 
If you have things that you maybe want to take outside to a picnic table, very simple. Just grab the drawer and take it with you. So it slides right back in. Let me get it in the right spot here. And we're good to go. Two burner stove right on the top and microwave up here. So you've got all the conveniences of a kitchen at home. And you do have the blinds right here in the kitchen. Now that's a fire code. Everything else in this trailer is gonna be a pleated blind that you pull down. It'll give you full blackout at night. Another pantry right here. Wow, this is probably two and a half feet deep. One shelf on the bottom goes the full height. You could use this for a pantry. It does have a bar at the top if you wanna hang some clothes and then another space underneath. A lot of storage right here. There's still a little more I can show you as well. But let's talk about the air conditioner. Standard on this unit is a 13.5 BTU air conditioner. Um, it's gonna blow both ways, just gonna keep you plenty cool. This is not a huge trailer. Remember, it's only 22 foot total length, which means it's probably 18 feet inside. Plenty to keep you cool, even in a really hot Texas sun. Right across, this is the 12 volt refrigerator that comes standard in this unit. There is an upgrade if you wanted a seven cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. Now that's gonna be the gas absorption one on the back. Um, but this is eight cubic foot because it doesn't need the venting on the outside. So it can be a little bit deeper. Look how deep that is, just like a residential fridge would be. Nice drawer at the bottom, couple of drawers here, and we'll take a peek at the freezer. Keep in mind, whoops, oh, now there you go. If you've got your bed all the way up, your door can't open any further than that at the top. Hmm, who knew? So I wanted to mention the 12 volt refrigerators. Now, if you're not used to the 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator in an RV, it's different than the old style. There isn't coils on the back, so it's very efficient, very quiet. It's gonna cool in an hour or two. You're not gonna have to wait that 12 hours overnight. If you're worried about it using up your battery, it is extremely efficient and it uses a fraction of what the old 12 volt refrigerators did. So I always encourage people to give it a try. It is one of the favorite things I think in campers these days is the 12 volt refrigerator that's so efficient. Take a look at these controls right here in front of me. There is a tank heater here on the left. It's a, it's a switch, just like a light switch. And what that is, is that's gonna be a heated tank. If you get in freezing weather, you flip that on and it's gonna electrically heat the tank. You won't need your furnace to do that. It's gonna be 12 volts, so it can work going down the road as well. Next to that, your monitor that will tell you how much water is in the tanks and how much battery power you have. At the bottom of the monitor is the water heater and the water pump. And this trailer has a six gallon water heater. The switch on this monitor is gonna turn on the gas. Right next to it, the water pump. So all those controls are right here next to the refrigerator. Now, the best part of this trailer, the bed. Now this bed up here is 56 by 80. Now a true queen is gonna be 60 by 80. So you're just a bit narrower, but you've got plenty of length. The best part, you just push the button at the door where I showed you earlier, and this bed drops down to your sleeping level. Really easy to do. Once it drops down, there is still some room underneath. And then in the morning, you simply raise it back up. No need to take the covers off, do any of that like maybe you'd see in a Murphy bed. You just leave everything on there and you can move it up out of the way. Right now, this bed is all the way up. So the next question is gonna be, what's the height under here? Well, it is five foot 10. I'm five foot tall, there's still some space here. I'm very comfortable, but if you're six feet tall, you're gonna have to duck just a little bit to get under it. Let's take a look over here because there is a little more storage under here in the cabinets. On both sides, you have cabinets here, a little stiff to open there, but that's okay. They're not gonna open going down the road, right? 
They're about uh, 12 inches deep and fully open. You could put shelves uh, or you could just stack things in there, whatever works. And I like that it makes another table on the side because you could also maybe put some chairs here if you wanted. Because remember this hatch opens and you can see from this side, there's a screen here. So this could be your own private screen room. Really nice. Just lift the bed up, set some lawn chairs here or whatever works for you. There are plugs in here, but there aren't 12 volt at this end. There's 110 plug on each side and of course lights on each side. Windows for a very nice cross breeze. Let's take a brief look at the pleated shades. Oops, I know most of you know what that looks like, but uh, they do have the black pleated shades, so you're gonna get a nice blackout feel here. Now, feels really cozy in this side too. I would love sleeping here, and no reason that you couldn't maybe leave the hatch open, have a nice screen from the bugs outside, and enjoy sleeping halfway outside. Well, great features here. Plenty of room for kayaks, bikes, anything else that you want to bring with you. So let's go outside and take a look at a few more features on the outside because they've got a few more surprises that come with this trailer. This trailer has so many great features on it and one of them is the off-grid package. Now that is an option on this trailer. And the reason I'm pointing that out right now is because the Moride steps that fold into the doorway are part of that package. Almost every uh, escape that I've seen, that is the hatch on the back, has this off-road, off-grid package. So, uh, but keep an eye out for that sticker if you're looking at this trailer. Uh, why are they so nice? Well, open up the door. Just lift these up, they fold right in, and you shut the door. Really easy and really sturdy, particularly if you're not on flat ground. Swing out handle makes it very nice going in and out. Um, you've also got this nice little leash holder right here if you have a puppy, or it can just be a bottle opener. I don't know, it does both. Um, they call it a leash latch. Now, before we go any further, let's talk a little bit about this off the grid package. There is so much included in that option. Included in it is the 100 watt solar panel, a thousand watt inverter, these nice steps I just showed you, the griddle, the bike rack, aluminum wheels, mud tires, so many things that are all in that package you're gonna to wanna to be looking for it. Oh, also the Bluetooth speaker. So many things, it's hard for me to remember them all. But uh, that is really part of what makes this such a great adventure trailer. Right here, the venting for the furnace and 110 plugs because this electric awning covers almost the full length of the trailer, so it makes a great outdoor space. This is the venting for the six gallon water heater and the griddle. Now this griddle just hangs on the side. You do have a plug right under here and makes it very easy to connect to. And if you wanted to connect a different type and you didn't want to use the griddle, just plug in right here as well. You're right at the edge of your awning. Moving to the back, you're gonna notice right at the top that this trailer is pre-wired for a backup camera. Now a lot of trailers, you cannot get the backup camera from the factory, but KZ is different. You can order the backup camera completely installed when you order the trailer. So you can check for that as an option when you're looking at this at a dealer's lot. Now let's open up the back and see what that looks like. These handles just twist a quarter turn to unlatch and very simple to lift up. I like the fact that there is a cover for that because you want to black out on all the windows, but you can bring it down so when you're inside, you can see behind you. I also like that it's kind of a second awning here. Uh, it's gonna take any of the weather that comes down if it starts sprinkling. You've got another place to sit facing this direction. 
This also can come off. It is not permanently mounted and to get in and out, it just unzips right here. So it's easy to load your kayaks, load your bikes, or jump in and out of the trailer if you wanted to open this up. Just a super nice feature for all kinds of things, all kinds of uses right here at the back. They have added a cable connection on the back here, just in case you're at a campsite that has that option and you'd like to plug in there. And over here, the electrical connections. Right under here though, let me back up a bit. You can see that there is a full size spare mounted underneath. That's always handy, particularly if you're getting off the, the pavement, you might need that. All right, in front, this is the sewer connection with the black and gray holder. Now, this trailer has a 20 gallon fresh water tank. The gray is 30 gallon and the black is 30 gallon. So you've got plenty of storage for the water you're using. In front, this is a spray port. Just, uh, it's a quick connect there in case you need to spray anything off. Uh, the fill for your water tank and the city water connection and the drain for your fresh water tank right here. Coming around the front, of course, the battery box would go behind the propane, a 20 pound propane tank and the jacket bike rack. This is part of that off-grid package and you can fit two bikes very easily on this rack in front. That leaves all that back space for the kayaks and all the extra chairs and all the camping gear. So the curved front is also really nice. You've got the rock guard on the bottom and the automotive style windshield on the top. Great visibility when you're inside and just opens up the space. Coming around to this side, let's talk briefly. It is a great construction. Does have an Asdell underneath this nice pylon. And as you know, the Asdell is gonna be impervious to any water. So you don't have to worry about delamination or it uh, swelling up if it happens to get wet. Now we're back around to the front. I, I just hope that I have inspired you to go out and have some adventures. If you enjoy a trailer like this, or you have some questions, let us know. We're happy to help you here at Princess Craft RV. I'm PJ. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.